Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. This is the second part following our previous section where we use sample code from Hugging Face to run DialogueGBT in VS Code. Today, I'll guide you on how to obtain the code from Hugging Face, read the documentation from Streamlit, and spin up a chatbot which backend is DialogueGBT and frontend is Streamlit. So let's dive right in and get started. Okay, so this is basically the code I just copied from Hugging Face. Um, this is from their Dialogue GBT Medium page. So now let's try to understand line by line before we can take this skeleton and make it as a backend for our chatbot. All right, so the first two lines are basically just import or the important package also model um noted that here they use auto model for casual lm which is like a very standard model for jackpot to generate what's gonna be next token um it's kind of like going from left to right not a bi-directional model like bird um using for jackpot or like model that do conversation and then a tokenizer tokenizer here can be understand as um a converter so let's say you are a user and then you input something to the model let's say you say hello and how do your model understand that string of word hello the tokenizer actually going to convert your hello into a number that number is very model by model depend on the vocabulary the model was pre-trained so then now your input is become like a sequences of number that your model can understand and then your model will take that sequences of number and then generate a response notice that the response now is a sequence of, of numbers if your model reply back to you with a sequence of number is really hard i mean impossible for us to understand so that's why we need another tokenizer to convert back to a text where we can understand that call so the first converter is called encoder and the next converter is called decoder that's where we are seeing it here so let's dive right in the user ids we use the encoder to encoder the input from the users um, i put on a print statement here so later we can see how is the sequence of number look like and then the bot user input the bot input now will be that sequence of number whatever user input right so you have the input from a user is go to the model as an input and what is going to be the output the output is the model generate based on your input which is also bot input right because we already like generated here so we have a model generate output then it's going through the decoder just to make sure that it's convert back to text where we can understand all right so basically that's it and then we in have like a loop here to make a chat with the dialogue gbt for five lines um now let's try to go and run it and see when we print it out what is inside um after this let's take all of this make it as a back end and then call streamless as a front end and see if we can use all of these as a skeleton for our next step i will go ahead and run this actually before running this let's double check a couple of things do we have the virtual environment ready yes we do uh, just make sure best practice having your virtual environment to um, import all of the needed package 
So then everything is ready, good to go. Python 3 dialogbt.py. And then the model running. Um, yes, it's asking user input here as we indicate. And remember, we only can chat with it five times. So user, I'm going to put hello, how are you today? Once I hit send, I will expect that it will print out the list of like random number. So it is a tensor and you can see it's a list of like random sequence number. And then it also print out the chat history ID here as also because we input to the model and then the model have the encoder converted to this sequence and then model use the sequence to generate a response which is now is also a sequence then the decoder convert the sequence back to a string which is the model answer i'm good how are you i'm going to say such a good day today um what do you plan to do all right so as expect the user talking as well but the history the here the history the chat history is um expand because basically it stored everything but then when the model um respond we have a sliding here just getting to whatever the latest respond and then print back to us so dialogue gb say i'm going to the beach okay fancy i'm going to the beach i'm going to reply but now is winter okay now i think it gets stuck it still respond to me i'm going to the beach you get the idea it's it's, it's there um we just need to fine tuning it um yeah so now we have this skeleton and this skeleton only can work for like i don't know you can do a hundred lines but um this is not a chatbot because this is not like a user interface say if you want someone to interact with your chatbot you need like a user interface like chat where you have like an input text and then you typing and then it will show you like here's a chatbot here's your um, input and then um, it's like a conversation so we are going to do that using streamlit very easy to use you don't need to have front end or back end experience the documentation is very clear so let's get to their documentation pick whatever fit to our unique case here and then use that as a front end while building our back end using this skeleton. Sharing my screen here is the Streamlit documentation where they have a lot of examples for their basic LM chat app. I already found one use case example that match us perfectly and it's called EcoBot, uh, a bot that mirrors your output, your input. So let's see what's going on here. They have initialized chat history, which is exactly what we want. They had a display chat message from your history. Awesome. React to user input, display user message, and then display the assistant response. And here's the full code. Awesome. Okay. I already tested out some example. For example, I say hello in the bot echoing my input, which is also hello. And then I say, how are you? The bot echoing my input, how are you? In this case, we can see the bot display the entire history, which is really what we want. So I will go ahead and copy the entire code here go to my vs code and then i already have the front end.py create here doing all of these 
All right, so let's start by typing streamlit and then run frontend.py. Well, on localhost 8501, echo bot, let's test it out. Hello, bot echo, hello. How are you? Bot echo, how are you? Exactly what we want here. So that's easy. We already have our front end. Now let's get to the back end. Uh, I hope you still remember this skeleton is from hugging phase. We just copy and we already know line by line what is going on here. Now let's turn it to something. Um, let's make it like a defined function because I want to call it later in our front end to be able to access all of these um, model tokenized. So instead of making a for loop here, let's do a define function. Let's do define run and call the input. So whenever user call user make an input, we call the run function. What do we want the output? We want the output here as the model response in the format of text. We don't want the model respond in the format of like tokenizer. So, okay, I already have the input here, which means that I need to change this into my input. Right, because that is like the input where we want the tokenizer to encode. All right, so we don't need a print function here anymore. And now my bot input IDs will be my new user input ID. That will be like this. Right, because our input ID is a sequence of number. That sequence of number go into the model as the model input. Then model generate based on bot input ID. Okay, all of these can be the same. I don't need my print function anymore. And then pretty much from here, we will we will do respond is equal to is equal to tokenizer dot all of this because we we want a decoder and then we want to get the latest okay let's sum okay okay it's look good and honestly chat history id bot input sum then return respond you don't know how to spell respond okay awesome so backend is ready backend is basically just a run and input now let's take this the five function just you know imagine you can import that function here so let's see if we can modify it our front end. If message not in session stay initialize for message in session state up message, all of this can be the same. It prompt chat input array. Awesome. This is where we wanted to modify because the respond right now it just echoing whatever prompt which mean is echoing whatever you say like we saw it before here i want to make it return the respond for me using my run function i just made and instead of having run input the input here is now prompt all right so respond to prompt everything look good see i have a little error here because basically i'm not import run so I already have a utility file here where I got the model.py is ready. So I already have everything here. Um, basically, it's the same as what we did just now. So I'm going to do firm utility import model. And then here I'm going to do 
model that one. Okay, save. Um, I'm gonna save this too, just in case. I'm gonna stop my local host by hitting Control C, and then I'm gonna clear, make it better, and then I'm gonna do Shrimlet. Um, run front end dot py. Will it work? Will it work? Okay, it's running here. There's a little running, running, running. I bet it's like um import all of the strength from and stuff. Okay, let's see. Hello. Oh. Yay! Okay, dialog GBT, answer me back. Awesome. How is the weather today? It's been it's true. It's been raining the past few days for me. Great. Yay, so we have our Jack, not ChatGPT, not to the level of ChatGPT, but a conversational AI chatbot back up by DialogueGBT, a model trained based on Reddit data and specialized for conversational AI. This is the end of tutorial. In this tutorial, we are exploring different concepts. We looked at an example from Hugging Face, demonstrating how to use DialogueGBT we break down the process line by line to understand how a decoder and encoder work, how the model processes input to generate output. Then we review Streamless documentation, specifically on their chat app, EcoBot, and then we adapt their example with a slight modification. Using the example code from Hugging Face, we develop a define function that can be called from our front end to receive response from Dialogue GBT. So that's it for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.